Well, this is good because I want to move from, you know, one fertile crescent of male sexual paranoia into another with our reading series this week. Mr. Get It Wet. Mr. <laughs> Mr. Don't Leave Your Girl Outside. <laughs> I mean, this is all the harder to take because according to Rod Dreher in part two of this week's reading series, headline, Mr. Perfect. headline, liberal women are lustier. Oh, I hope this is some shoe leather reporting. <laughs> And uh, he has a, the, the, the headline, the banner image for this article is like a, a woman sort of peeking behind the shoulder of a guy winking and looking very sort of like a come hither glance. However, the caption underneath the photo says, photo changed because some of y'all said the previous one was too damn hot. <laughs> <laughs> so Rod got his fans a little Wait, too riled up. Do we have? Yes, the original okay. photo. The original photo is a woman, a, a brunette woman, like pushing up cleavage and like biting her lip. <laughs> it's 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 this. You know that thing oh, that, okay. that oh, thing that women yeah. do. It's just like it's it's from uh, it's it's a Shutterstock. You guys, I gotta go. He searched for like <laughs> I have to go for he's, he's, five minutes. He searched for. Sec- I'll be back in exactly five minutes. <laughs> Sexy woman on Timey. on Shutterstock. R- Rod Dreher's readers keep fully charged uh, tablets filled with suggestive Getty images in a pile in the woods. <laughs> and whenever, guys, yeah. we gotta wait. My eyes bulged out of my head so far <laughs> that the stalks wrapped around each other and then the eyeballs hit and exploded. <laughs> Tangle. Hey guys, it's uh, Rod here. Just you know, I hate doing these, but another one of our commenters passed away last night. He saw a pile of dynamite uh, with a wig and a red dress on it, <laughs> and uh, went over there and tried to fuck it because that's just what a woman looks like. And he exploded, and unfortunately exploded into blackface in the fashion of those cartoons. So we're going to be doing a fundraiser. They're trying to get him. Uh, they're trying to take away his uh, posthumous pension for being racist, but really it was just the dynamite. Every one of his readers has beat off to. The- the sexy Bugs Bunny. <laughs> <laughs> the actual Rod post itself is fairly dry. What he's doing is just restating the uh, research presented in a new and unsettling book called Cheap Sex by Mark uh, Regneris, who, if you're brain damaged like I am, you may remember as a guy who is in vogue on the sort of academic right uh, several years ago because he had a, a, a book or a study that seemed to use data and sociological research to prove that the children of gay parents uh, suffer terribly because of it, which was, of course, instantly exposed as absolute hokum on even a cursory glance. They were like, you know, they like he, he was like, he instead of using gay parents, I think he used a data set that included any man that's ever had a gay experience, including ones married to women who are like, you know, felons or whatever, and then used the data about how badly their kids turned out to like throw off the average caused by like, you know, the people adopted by like, I don't know, two college professors or whatever. So this guy's an absolute bullshit artist and he has a new book out about cheap sex, which is about changing practices of mating and marriage and about, you know... I just really think it's very, like, cool and sexy and romantic that they call it mating. Yeah. That's great. Just keep keep making it Uh, it sound real appealing. I love mating with you, gangster. (laughs) Oh, so no, they, yeah, they're, species loke. And it's basically about how, uh, you know, uh, harlotry is on the rise and they're very concerned about it. And apparently, yeah, <laughs> apparently, you know, liberal women, you know, think about sex more often and they say they want to have sex more often than conservative women. What? Which is like, again. I just dropped both of the monocles out of my eyes. I'm, I mean, I'm, I'm making fun of this, but like, I really think any study that purports to show that like one political affiliation is hornier or gets laid more than the other is absolute bullshit. It's all bullshit. Like, yeah. I, like, we're put, like conservatives are horny as hell as we've exposed many times but they also get laid just as much as anyone else do. They have just as much problems with the opposite sex or the person they're attracted to as anyone else. This is a universal Women human are foible. Women succubuses to everyone. They're taking <laughs> everyone's life force. They're destroying men in court in HR departments. It's committing cr- This is a bipartisan issue. Actually the plural issue. is succubi you just saw it. Yeah. You just saw it. <laughs> yep. See what they do. Just uh, in a social situation. Regneris says in his book, in a world increasingly bereft of transcendence, sexual expression <laughs> is emerging as an intrinsic value. I've read this. It's like his thesis is that like an increasingly secular world, people use sex to give the feeling of sacred and transcendent that religion and just, you know, sort of praying 30 times a day did for people in 
colonial times or something. Do you yeah, think they, libs they are all, all having all like weird sting tantra sex or something? Is that the? Argument? I don't. Know. I, I think they also think that when they would back then when they would pray, they just came like geysers. Just, <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, just spraying, <laughs> yeah. knock, knocking over the miters. There's so much come in yeah. this episode. No one would. No one was circumcised back then, and it's like if you were just above peasant, you put on like a silk garment for the first time. It would be like that special strip club underwear that lets you bust without a touch, <laughs> like just. Uh, uh, liquid lap dance, they're called. Yeah, like the, that's probably why Columbus's ships made it over. It's just the hole was petrified in sailor cum. <laughs> <laughs> so- this is literally, I think, the worst I've ever done on an episode, and I don't feel bad about it. I feel like it's it's being held together by a by mortar cum. of cum. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so, like I said, the Rod's actual article is fairly dry. However, the comment <laughs> he's section a dry, he's a dry boy. It, yeah. The comment section Ooh, is a joy. Wet. Is a joy. Wet. I want to r- highlight a couple from Rod's readers now. Uh, first one, uh, Justin says, I would add from my regrettable personal experience. That- <laughs> <laughs> Always a great way to start. Please do. Uh, letter, letter sent from my crawl space iPad. Uh, I would add, letter I, sent from the emergency room while they try to take the knot out of my dick. I would add from my regrettable personal experience that liberal women seem to enjoy sex less. Including reaching <laughs> with me. <laughs> That's what that means. It's it, it, like it, never liberal. any awareness. It's like ah, when... this woman didn't come <laughs> clearly because of They're her preference for progressive taxation. Liberal women have this unrealistic idea about dicks that they're not supposed to be the exact dimension and temperature of a tuna can. <laughs> This is insane shit they got from movies like the you know they got a cultural Marxism yeah so he goes uh, <laughs> regrettable personal experience that liberal women <laughs> seem to enjoy sex less and then in parentheses it says including reaching the fulfillment of the sex act less ah, coming coming yeah having okay. having an orgasm uh, if a, someone said to me have you fulfilled the sex act I'd never come again <laughs> so dude, congratulations dude if you tell a woman if, that's what you say before you drink Kool Aid with all of your friends. Because, okay. They reach the fulfillment less because when they have sex, it's because of the same lack of perceived transcendent value. In it. They, when having sex with me, they don't perceive a transcendent value in it. Uh, they try to remove their emotion from it because experience has taught them that it is psychologically devastating to have one's heart perceive any deeper connection or meaning in sex. After all, the relationship facilitating the sex act will end in a few months, years, or too often the next morning. That being said, they seem much more interested in the superficiality of sex and pursue that for thrills, however elusive the thrills are and unsustainable it may be, to center one's sexuality around them. He literally just said the problem with liberal women is that they enjoy sex too much but not with me. Mm-hmm. And that they won't like that they won't marry me immediately after. <laughs> that's like that yeah, it turns out that, uh, that's when someone proposes inside of you <laughs> it, it, it tends to not lead to a fulfillment of the sex act. They, they call me Mr. Fall asleep right inside of her, wake up with a ring. <laughs> In my experience, liberal sex is incredibly boring compared to meaningful, committed sex. Also, no judgment, but that pick is a bit much. In my, in my honest opinion, Rod, <laughs> though some other person, maybe my comment, though to some other person, maybe my comment. So that's uh, Justin uh, checking in. I know, you, I got too horny during Justin's <laughs> comment. Justin wrote that with his boner. <laughs> so, uh, this next Next one here comes courtesy of uh, Joan from Michigan. So we're gonna hear we're gonna hear both sides. Yeah, well, yeah, that's good. I'd like plus. To uh, I'd like to hear from a woman. Me, me, my liberal up pair, my conservative husband, plus me, Joan. From so Michigan. she goes. Since we're playing, explain this finding. I've got an entry. I suggest that maybe it's about childhood experience. Specifically, I'm going to argue that growing up in a dysfunctional family predisposes people to apostasy, liberalism. Apostasy. And- yeah. Did I mispronounce that? No, or? no. Oh, okay, yeah. that, that's yeah. how you say it. I'm just saying, like, that's a weird leap. Growing yeah. up in a dysfunctional family predisposes <laughs> people to apostasy, liberalism, and disappointing sex lives. Yeah, dude, ever since me and my dad didn't get along, I started worshiping a golden calf. <laughs> <laughs> Here's the logic. Here's the logic. See if you can follow. The defining characteristics of dysfunctional... <laughs> I feel like this is like a Dear Pretty segment because it's one of these things where it's just like these comments tell you, give you such a view of these people's own family life and just sort of emotional inner lives. What goes, they reveal with their observations yeah. is The true. defining characteristic of dysfunctional families is that they are closed off to the outside world. No. How, yeah. not at all. How many of you think that that's, that is that's the defining not, characteristic? That's not defining of, of any family. That's insane. I, no. 
How many of those flipperful weirdos never interact with anyone outside of their homeschooled compound? Yeah. And they wouldn't yeah. call that dysfunctional. Here we go. Insularity is a here pretty, we go. Yeah. Here is here is the money, here is the money graph. The money shot, if you will. <laughs> so Come. uh he says uh, the defining is that they are closed off to the outside world. Total bosh. Total I, bullshit. Either they never have guests or guests only enter one carefully maintained visiting parlor and are never invited into the part of the home where the family actually lives. What? You is know, this person rel- does this person was this person raised by Ed Gein's mother? What is this? Yeah. They o- dysfunctional families will only have guests in a carefully and manicured they, visiting they parlor. They tend to have one room that's been boarded up and filled with nipple belts and lampshades made out of human skin. You know, dysfunctional families are always like, you know, hey, if I kill you, you're gonna be my slave in the afterlife. This is like a weird Midwestern kind of Philip Roth complaint. Yeah. Like, yeah. like my mother used to put plastic on the furnitures in the living room and now i can't have a meaningful relationship now i have a disappointing sex life yeah so he goes um often this is because the parents have shameful secrets <laughs> Whoa. naturally Whoa. Such wow. pa- nat- Joan, Joan, what's Na- going on Joan? naturally such parents are not good role models for religious faith even if they drag the kids to sunday worship every week the kids are unlikely to stay in the faith after they leave home unless the dysfunction reaches criminal levels in which case there may be a boomerang effect where kids glom onto church just to have some sanity in their lives but those are actually relatively few I'm talking here about typical middle class lives of quiet desperation. Typical middle, middle class, class desperation. Living in people. a haunted mansion. <laughs> with shameful, with all the shameful secrets. Yeah, but, but, living in a V.C. Andrews novel. <laughs> typical middle, middle America. You know, like, you know, like, you know, maybe your your mom, she wanted a, a son instead. And so as a result, you date a vampire. <laughs> you you run Michigan. a motel with your mother. <laughs> yeah. You are at the front desk. She's in the basement. You know, it's not weird. <laughs> Typical middle class lives that exist in a Shirley Jackson story. <laughs> uh, dysfunctional families can also leave kids kind of stunted in the social skills department. They have a harder time getting laid because they don't know how flirting works, and they're too and or they're too socially anxious to approach potential partner. Finally, coming from a dysfunctional family can leave a young person disillusioned with family altogether. In my youth, I held a very strong belief in the right of anybody to leave at any time as the only thing that could curtail domestic abuse. This meant that there had to be a welfare state so that exercising one's rights yeah, don't one, bang one, Denmark. Yeah, yeah that this meant that there had to be a welfare state so that exercising one's right to leave did not lead to destitution. All the individualism of consent culture flows from that. That's the end of the comment where Joan from Michigan says, when I was young and stupid, I believed uh, women had the right to leave abusive relationships and not be left destitute because of it. Instead, they should just be n- n- uh, nailed up in the attic <laughs> <laughs> like every other good old middle American family. Uh, DM me. What's one, going one, on? A couple more. Co- just a few, a few more quick hits. We, we can keep her cut this. I don't know. John, John Gruskos <laughs> says, quote, very conservative women wisely married young. So they get as much as they want. Their husbands as remember as much D as much D as they want because they wisely married young, and they're getting as much D as they want. Right, it's of it. actually really hard to get D when you're not married. It's true. It's I, I you well, know, and Amber, marrying Amber, young, no, no, as no, we did, like, as we know from reams of research, is always a smart choice. I just wander the streets. There are no men anywhere. <laughs> yeah, but no, no. If you're unmarried, you have to basically wait until like a guy with a podcast likes an Instagram from three weeks ago. <laughs> is this the last one that had your face in it to like indicate that he's ready to mate? And that <laughs> takes about like between he can only do that every four months. This is the normal male sexual drive. <laughs> Felix is actually half Vulcan. <laughs> uh, so, so con- w- smart conservative women will marry young. And as such, will get as much as they want. Their husbands remember how beautiful and young and innocent they were the night they were married, oh, and, and that God. memory and that memory oh, dude, will dude. keep their husbands turned on, oh. even when the very conservative women are old and wrinkly. Yeah, dude, I just. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. So I'm, using you this, have the I'm using this old wrinkled bag like a fucking flashlight, imagining her when she was my child crying. <laughs> yeah. oh, oh, dude, this is fucking James Woods in Casino talking about when he saw oh, her when she yeah, was yeah. like, tw- oh, oh, this fuck. is the most nightmarish you feel fucking me? thing. Rod, Rod, can you feel me in your heart? Can you feel I'm me in the pit of your stomach, stomach Rod? 
I told you not to talk to him anymore. He imagines things about bathrooms. He's bad news for you. So this th- sounds that's like a very conservative woman. Yeah, that the very like liberal that woman, on the other hand, only work wasted theory. their brief, beautiful years as corporate slaves and activist, useful idiots, and long ago threw away every shred of innocence. Now no one wants them. I- I will not fuck a woman who's been to a protest. Their <laughs> pussy is worn out. Like, if you march, just fucking loosens your pussy we've right up. Too, we've you, had too many signs up there. That's where we store the signs. Yeah. Well, only you've had, a man can only have sex with a woman over the age of 30 if he can close his eyes and imagine her nude at 17. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Dude, unless you, unless if you're a liberal woman, keep a little locket with a picture of yourself, like the moment you had your quinceanera or equivalent <laughs> celebration, or else like this isn't gonna work. Unless I can look at that while I give you, you know, three minutes of extremely medium pumps. Yeah. Like, we're not gonna get married immediately good, after. I, I can't imagine how hot the sex is where he's just like bearing Closing down on top of hers with his eyes screwed shut yeah. and just beads of sweat shooting off of his forehead, imagining that younger version. Uh, of can we put your uh, can we put your uh, sophomore year yearbook on the nightstand? No reason why. No reason why. I'm just. I'm can you nice. wear a sports bra? Those are a little big. Uh, yeah, I just thought you would look really good in scrunchie. I'm, I'm for some reason I'm imagining Andy Daly from the first season of Eastbound and Down, where he's like he's like just a little bit more, yep. and we're done. Yep. <laughs> so, last one, last one. This is from GK. I'm, I assume Chesterton uh, <laughs> says uh, this is simply because liberal women get less sex. They are typically of the feminist nerd or cat lady variety. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they haven't heard about epic nerd sex where my wife wears Cthulhu underwear <laughs> and I go, me thinks a kraken lurks between these ladies. Yeah, my lady. <laughs> Me and my wife love getting down with the nerd sex. Her, her, and her fucking, her and her sort of like dark or like velvet cake colored hair. You know, like because we also love red velvet cake. It's the only fucking cake we know because we're fucking <laughs> shitheads who learned how to cook from Imgur because we have no skills and we're fucking dumbasses. This is a we're new a fucking thing shit that Felix kid is mad about. We fucking They're probably rockabilly. Dress up They're- like Wonder Woman. And yeah, her hair is that color, and she has like the thick glasses, and I just like pretend to be all the famous monsters from Firefly while I'm just fucking <laughs> chowing down on her fucking Annoying pussy. Off her bacon bikini top. Yeah, we, she was wearing a fucking like red vine thing that we shaped like fucking Joss Whedon to the Woman's March, and she had a sign that said uh, "Science is an alternative fact," and I had to just take her into a uh, porta potty stall and just fucking you know get my uh, get my Mac of sugar for the day if you feel me <laughs> okay so we've established that nerds definitely have sex they have sex they have yeah. so the much worst gross way. sex Ugh. So that none of us ever uh, want to see so if, definitely if, if one of these it. if one of these feminist nerds or cat ladies if they do land a man he is typically a beta <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a fucking beta in dude my I'm a moderator on Imgur in my experience conservative women are more attractive and motherly and thus attract more alpha type men that are more satisfying to them yeah Alpha men DJ, want mommies. run that back. That's, that's uh, the women, the, the conservative women tend to remind me more of mother, and as such, are more attractive to an alpha how, like how me. How am I supposed to? How am I supposed to get hard to a woman who doesn't make me remember my mom standing over a stove with Pulling a with a bunch out of, of the cookies oven coming out of the apron. oven? Yeah, and nothing else. Unless you <laughs> unless, unless you put a fucking Power Rangers bandaid on my elbow, you're not getting this conservative dick. This alpha D. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah, it, yeah. I'm me compared to any liberal man. The alpha, the man who constantly comments on Rod Dreher's blog, which is just about imagined bathroom terror. <laughs> so oh, goes, wow, you think you think that lady's hot? I can't imagine her changing my diaper. <laughs> <laughs> and finally, GK says, and even if a liberal type woman can find herself a man who satisfies her, as soon as she gets married, she becomes more conservative. So it's just sort of like, <laughs> so if she's yeah, got, yeah, 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 it's, yeah. It's, it's, if she's having sex, she is conservative regardless. By definition. By definition. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the one true Scotsman kind so, of, but for boning. Uh, again, it's a theme we come back to over and over again. Rod and his readers, extremely normal. Just very, very normal. Regular guys. Very normal men. Vibrating yeah, red, with red-blooded, 
normal American just guys. in front of the sc- t- the computer screen vibrating with repressed sexuality. Yeah, every Rod night night. wakes up in the morning. Picture he's like, of mom on the yes. yeah. Mm-hmm. Picture of mom like over, desktop. Yeah, desktop, but her mom's head is like superimposed yeah. over like uh, Kathy sh- Ireland's body. Yeah, Kathy <laughs> Ireland's picture body. of mom, taxidermy of mom. <laughs> you know. Rod, dude, Rod just wakes up in the morning and he's like, "Readers, we feel a normal." They're like, "Yes, sir, Rod." By the way. Uh, you used a font that made the uh, uh, the letter O look too much like a tit, and uh, <laughs> you yeah. owe me a new keyboard, yeah. sir. <laughs> just fucking busted all over. That's my what Doc that means. Martins. Usually, when you see that on the internet, you ne- you owe me a new keyboard. It means that they oh, they're yeah. implying that they spewed water out of their no- mouth, their nose, because laughing. When they say it to Rod, it means they nut it all over the yeah, Rod. Rod that V was very suggestive. Take that out of there. <laughs> I love Rod probably gets a billion emails like that a day. Where, Rod, you said social cleavage, and I just jacked off of work, and I'm fired <laughs> now. He's like, oh, my God, I'm so sorry. Yeah, he definitely gets, like, daily handwritten letters from Norman Bates types. <laughs> yeah, Rod gets, Rod's messages are sent to him by Raven. Yeah. Of just people who got too horny reading him or looking at stock images. Rod, you used you used clip art that implied that the clip art couple has had sex before. <laughs> <laughs> Could you please stop? Please no no more no more clips from the Lockharts in your columns. <laughs> Mrs. Rod. Lockhart is just too fucking sexy for me in her support hose. Rod, when uh the daughter in Family Circus said Pischetti instead of spaghetti <laughs> it, it made me feel things that were unchristian. They Rod, were not they were they they made me feel things that were transcendent in a way that wasn't religious. Rod, in the the moment I looked into Funky Winkerbean's eyes, I just <laughs> fucking busted a wad straight over my computer and because I haven't ejaculated in 35 years, it was just sort of like a like dr- like sort of uh, when you get a wad of silly string and just throw it at something. That's a good place to end this yeah. episode yeah. with more 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 cum. It begins based and it ends yeah. at, with cum. Just like, like life. Just like yeah. life. Yeah, you, when go. you end, you just fucking nut yeah. all over your family. I, I really looking forward to that final nut. Yeah. It's going to be good. All right, guys. 